episode begins, there is an air of eager anticipation at American Eagle headquarters. Yank, Doodle, Dan, and Dee are seated in front of the television set, ready to laugh their little heads off. For in a few moments, they'll be seeing the one and only Pinky Finger, America's funniest comedian. Oh, boy, I can hardly wait for those wonderful jokes. Yeah, I guess Pinky's about the funniest guy in the whole world. Get ready to laugh it up, America, because here's Pinky! <laughs> Thank you very much, Ed. You deserve a great big hand uh, right across the mouth. <laughs> but seriously, folks, you know, Ed used to be a great athlete, and he's still got the feet to prove it. <laughs> hey, I don't have to do this for a living. My folks are in the iron and steel business. My mother irons and my father steel. <laughs> uh, the other day, I got a dog for my kid. About the best trade I ever made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Pinky Finger is great. No wonder he's the highest paid entertainer in America. And as Pinky Finger made the entire nation rock with laughter, someone else was vitally interested in him. It was Noodles Romanoff and his band of no goods. Boys, tonight's tonight. We kidnap Pinky Finger and hold him for a million dollars ransom, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, sure man. Yeah, sure. Pinky Pinky Finger Finger Baton Rouge. And boys and girls, that's exactly what they did. As Pinky Finger left the TV studio, Noodles and his evils were waiting. Okay, Finger, we're putting the arm on you. You guys look like you're auditioning for Elliot Ness. This is no laughing matter, Finger. We've nailed you. Yes, it was true. Pinky Finger, America's greatest comedian, had been kidnapped. This was a national emergency. And to solve this dastardly crime, our government once again turned to... Roger Ramjet, internationally famed you-know-what and devil-may-care flying fool reporting, sir. <laughs> Ramjet, sometimes I think you're America's number one clown. I want you to find Pinky Finger. His disappearance has put our nation's morale at an all-time low. And a sad country is a bad country. How about putting it this way, General? A nation that grins together, wins together. How about getting out of my office? And don't return until you have a pinky to show me. But even as Roger Ramjet searched for the missing pinky, the TV network tried desperately to find a replacement. They tried other comedians. I know a guy with a wooden leg named Joe. What's the name of his other leg? Ooh. They tried impersonators. Uh -huh. All right, you dirty rats. Ooh. Impressionists. Uh -huh. All right, you dirty rats. Ooh. Jugglers. All right, you dirty rats. Ooh. Meanwhile, at the secret hideout of Noodles Romanoff... Finger, I want you to tell all your jokes into this tape recorder. When we've got a whole tape of your best jokes, we're gonna send them to your biggest rival, Milton Zip. Milton Zip? That's the last straw. I don't mind being kidnapped. But when you try to steal my jokes, you've gone too far. Help! Help! And as luck would have it... Suffering Sikorskis. That's Pinky Voice's finger. I mean... Oh, well, you know what I mean. In a thrice, Roger entered the crook's hideout, and taking one of his proton energy pills... <coughs> he made short work of the culprits. <laughs> Uh, that should do it. A nice work, Ramjet. I'd have handled it myself, but my religion forbids it. I'm a devout coward. And so, thanks to the efforts of America's greatest hero, America's greatest comic was once more insulting his way into the hearts of a nation. And uh, my watch is on the bum. My brother-in-law's wearing it. <laughs> and so ends another episode of Roger Ramjet and the American Eagle. I saw your last show, and I'm sure it will be. When Ramjet takes a proton pill, the crooks begin to worry. They can't escape their awful fate from proton's mighty fury. Roger Ramjet, he's our man, hero of our nation. For his adventures, just be sure and stay tuned to the station. 
So come and join us all, you kids, for lots of fun and laughter. As Roger and Jack and his men get all the crooks they're after. Roger and Jack, he's our man, hero of our nation. For his adventures, just be sure and stay tuned to this station.